Welcome back. This video discusses practice questions for DHA and HAD exam with explained answers and if you find this useful, press the like button, subscribe the channel and share it with who may find it helpful too. Question 1. Which strategies can be implemented to decrease cardiovascular disease risk in hypertension? A. Avoidance of cigarette smoking. B. Adequate dietary intake of potassium, calcium, and magnesium. C. Use of cocaine. D. Both A and B. Various strategies to decrease cardiovascular disease risk include the following. Diets low in salt, total fat, and cholesterol. Adequate dietary intake of potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Limited alcohol consumption. Avoidance of cigarette smoking. Avoidance of the use of illicit drugs, such as cocaine. Regular physical activity. And weight management. Therefore the answer is option D. Next question. Now pause the video and read the question carefully. Bocentin is used to treat pulmonary arterial hypertension in adults and children 3 years of age and older. A prepotent and undansetron are both used to reduce or prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Undansetron is an antagonist at 5-HT3 receptors. A prepotent is classified as an NK1 antagonist because it blocks signals given off by NK1 receptors. This, therefore, decreases the likelihood of vomiting in patients. Therefore the answer is option C. Next question. Now pause the video and read the question carefully. Carbamazepine and valproic acid are effective in bipolar disorder but are contraindicated in the pregnant patient because of possible teratogenic effects. Lithium can also cause fetal abnormalities and should be avoided. The most conservative approach would be to treat the patient with quetiapine or olanzapine. Flufenazine has no proven efficacy in bipolar disorder. Therefore the answer is option C. If you find this video useful, press the like button, subscribe the channel and share it with who may find it helpful too.